Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a cool um, word logo using the text tool in Adobe Illustrator sort of a bit like this, this is what we'll be creating today um, so I apologize for my voice, I do have a bit of a cold right now um, but anyways, um, the tutorial still must go on um, so we'll just go ahead and create a new file um, and the word that we'll be using is going to be creative I think that that word works pretty well um, yeah we'll just keep it at that sort of sizing and everything so now what we're going to go ahead and do is straight away just hit the text tool or just T um, shortcut and we'll just click and then we'll write in our word which will be creative um, so we'll just grab the selection tool and just hold shift as we drag it um, to become bigger and then we'll just sort of center it in the canvas um, like that So now that we've got that, what we're going to do is go ahead and straight go up to type and then create outline. So obviously you can see you can also do shift control O. So now what this is doing is creating all of these letters into outlines. So they're no longer text, um, but they're actually outlines of this text. Um, so right now um, you might not want this font, so we might just go ahead and press control Z and that will just make it into type again. So we might just first go ahead and change the font. So if we just right click and go font and then we can see these fonts as we're choosing them. Um, so we're going to go with Air Destine. Um, I think it looks pretty cool and it'll work for this sort of logo font sort of thing. Um, so now we can go ahead and hit Control Shift O or go to type and create outlines. So now that we've got this now what we can see is that our words are all in the outlines again. So if we go ahead and click the direct selection tool, um, then we can choose any of these anchor points and sort of drag them any way we want and customize this font completely to our liking. Um, so we'll probably most likely keep this font, we make it into a sort of more logo compact sort of um, that sort of um, connected sort of feeling. So first off, we'll go ahead and click the R. So what I just did there is I double clicked um, and then that's just isolating all of these letters separately so we can see like it's just selecting these letters um, so we'll just click the R and we'll just drag it over a bit um, what I might do is I might bring it nice and snug to that C and then I'll just go ahead and double click the canvas just to unselect that isolation so now we'll go ahead and click the direct selection tool and now what I'm gonna do with this C is sort of add this little gap at the bottom so if I just grab this anchor um, point and if I just hold shift as I drag it it'll keep along this straight path um, so I'll probably keep it about that much distance between um, and yeah that'll sort of work well so now we'll just try and get this um, to about 90 degrees to that now we'll go ahead and what we might do is actually connect this C and the R um, so we'll go ahead and bring that in um, and just so it connects so now we've got this first C, R, um, and then we'll go ahead and bring the E in. So again, we'll double click it, um, and then we'll just hold the down, uh, hold the left arrow to bring it across to our liking. So what we might do with this, we might actually um, keep it like this. And then with this R, what we might do is um, we'll just select it. And then what we'll do is go do stroke, and then add a bit of stroke. So if you've seen my other... Uh, word mark tutorial for if you're actually designing it with the three um, line sort of style um, I do use this as well um, so we'll put the stroke to the outside and we'll add it a round cap and um, round join and then what we'll do is we'll set the stroke to what size we want and we'll also go ahead and select the stroke to white so then what we'll do with this eyes we'll just drag it out of this group just so um, the stroke is visible over it so now what we're going to do is we'll click the R and we'll go ahead and click object and then we'll go to path and then outline stroke. So now this is making the stroke into part of the object as well. So now we'll go ahead and click the shape builder tool. Um, firstly, we'll just select all of these shapes here. And now what we can do is sort of add in any parts we want back. So for example, we want that part back because we want it to be back to that. And we'll also add in this part back. So now when we unclick that, um, we can see that the R is sort of curving around the E from there. Um, we've got a slight sort of change here. 
that we might just quickly change just because it wasn't quite right if we just hold shift so we'll keep it nice and straight and then we'll just drag these anchor points out as well because there was a slight non-covering there so now that looks pretty cool and then we'll go ahead and um, change all of the other letters and I'll fast forward to then So there we go, we now have this pretty cool logo originally um, just made from this font. So this tutorial is a bit different from the first word mark tutorial I made, um, which the link for will be down in the description, so if you want to check that out. Um, that one's how to make a, a logo, like a word mark logo, um, but it's creating um, using your own sort of fonting um, by creating, like actually illustrating them out. So thanks for watching, I hope you were able to bring away a few things by watching this tutorial um, and that will help you in the future with any logo designs or illustrations that you have. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.